The ambush happened shortly after three o'clock in Ranla, a well-known bedsitter suburb on the south side of the city. Residents said the cam of the afternoon was shattered by gunfire. When they ran out to investigate, they saw a black Renault 5 embedded in a garden fence. Martin Cahill, who lived nearby, was slumped in the driver's seat. Earlier, local people had spotted two men in the area. One was on a motorbike parked near the Triangle in Ranla village. The other, who was described as wearing a corporation-type jacket, was seen taking a note of car registrations. The black Renault came along Oxford Road and as it slowed at the junction of the busy Charleston Road, the man who had been checking registration numbers pulled out a handgun, ran alongside the car and opened fire. A young woman who doesn't want to be identified was watching television at the time. She looked out the window to see what was happening. The car came around the corner and the guy ran along at the driver's side and shot him and then the car crashed into the wall over here and um, he shot five times and then he jumped onto the motorbike and he like he didn't have any mat like there was nothing on his face or anything so he jumped onto the back of the motorbike and the two of them. Uh, was the gunman was he youngish or he what was about like? five I'd say and he had dark brown hair that's all I really know it's because I was upstairs. The car careered across the road and crashed yeah and what what, what happened then? Um, well, he was just sort of lying out the side of it and yeah, the guy jumped on the bike and just went off. And then the police came about five minutes later. It seems as if the two men made no attempt to hide their faces, apart from the motorcyclist who was wearing a helmet. They escaped on the motorbike and headed towards Rath Mines. After a pathologist had been called to the scene, the body was taken from the car. The vehicle was then removed to Garda headquarters for further examination.